Hey guys, and welcome back to Talk Tech Time. Now this is going to be an updated tutorial on how to get an iOS emulator on any iPhone, any iPod Touch, iPad, and under any iOS firmware. Now a lot of you have been seeming to have a lot of problems with this old program. I'll open it up right here to show you guys. Now, about a week ago, I did a tutorial on how to get Gridly, an iOS emulator, on any iDevice without a jailbreak. And I used this program right here. But today, I'm going to show you a completely updated way to get an emulator on your iOS device using a new program I found that is much more effective. It works just great. It's amazing, guys. So, I don't think you guys will be having any problems with this new updated method. Alright, I'll go ahead and give you guys the links. So you want to go down to the video description and I will have a link that I will be posting. This is a direct download to the program itself. So, now you will get a pop-up just like this and that's completely okay. This is just because it's being downloaded through Dropbox. So you want to continue at your own risk and it will download the file. I'll show you guys right here. And you will go right here and click the download button. Okay, once you've downloaded it, you should get an installer package. It looks when it opens up, click yes. And this is all going to be in Chinese just like the other version. So you just want to keep clicking next and it will install just perfectly. Once it's installed, the app should look like this, and it will have a desktop shortcut. You want to open it up. And this, I'm guessing, is an update. I'm not going to do that right now because how it is is working perfectly fine for me. To search the app you want, you want to go click on this red bar right here, the only thing that's lit up in red, and you want to go up to the top and search your app. Now for this, we're going to be searching Gridly. And this should run a lot more smoother and quicker than the other version. Alright, and you will see Gridly pop up right here. And as you can see, there's a lot more choices on here than the other program. So this one runs just a lot better. It's just got a lot more choices. So you want to click on Gridly, or you can hover over it. Now I've been using this left install button to download the app. I'm not sure exactly what this does, but I would just stick to this one for now. And I also had a question about it working on iPad, and with this, it does. So you want to click here. If you are on an iPad, you go over right here and click the iPad button. And then it switches it to iPad, and you download it from there. Once it's downloading, once it's downloading, it will be appearing under this tab right here. I obviously don't have anything downloading right now, but it will appear under here, and it will be loading all of your downloads that have finished will appear right here. Now this is not where you're going to install it from. If you want to install the app, you come down right below the install button, the download button, and this is where you install all your apps. These all are all of the apps that I have downloaded at the moment, and I will show you how to install it. Now I'm sorry I can't show you guys my iPhone screen, but that is currently the only other camera that I have. So I'll be working on getting that out on future videos. Let me plug my iPhone into the computer right now. When you plug it in, you will see all of these buttons appear right here. The blue ones are the ones that are already installed, so you want to click this if you if something goes wrong and you want to reinstall it. And if it's not installed, you come up with a green install button. You click this install button. I'll go ahead and do that. And there's a little syncing icon will appear. And this, see, it's already done, and this installs fairly quickly, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, the first time for me when I installed Gridly on here, and I installed any other app, it comes up with your Apple user ID and password. It asks to install, but that's not a problem, just like the other one. This one's a little bit different. You want to come back up here to this red tab and click this blue button right here. And this will work on iOS 4, iOS 5, and the recent version of iOS 6. So you click here and it will fix that right up for you guys. Now just like the other app, this can be used to install paid apps for free without your jailbreak. But I found that this one has a much wider variety of apps. 
This pretty much has virtually all of them. So it's an all around good program. Now another thing I've seen on here, I haven't tried it out yet so I don't know really how well it works. You can come down here to the bottom and click the music tab and you can search through a music library and download and install all kinds of music on here for free. Just makes this program that much better. So that's about it guys. I hope this fixed any of your problems and answered all of your questions. If you need any extra help, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos just like this one. Until then, this has been Talk Tech Time, and I'll see you guys in a future video.